Hello everyone, welcome back to the Coding Game channel. Today I'm doing a speedrun challenge where I'll be playing Clash of Code for one hour and I'll try to win as many as I can. Clash of Code is a challenge mode on Coding Game where you play short coding problems in a room of up to eight players. There's three modes of Clash of Code. The most common is fastest where you have a problem statement and well, you have to code as fast as you can the solution. Players are ranked based on uh, completion time. Reverse mode is kind of the same but you don't have the problem statement you have to deduce what you have to do given the inputs and the outputs of the problem and code a solution that fits what you think it is and the third mode of clash of code is shortest mode aka code golf where you have to submit the shortest possible source code that solves the problem. In that mode, time doesn't matter as much. You don't have to be as fast. Uh, you can take all 15 minutes if you want because players will be ranked on size of the source code first. If you want to learn how to win that type of clash, shortest, you can watch the video I made with Valentin who showed me a few tips and tricks to win shortest mode in JavaScript. My coding game account is currently ranked 24th out of around 400,000 players but today I'll make a new account to see how much progress I can make in an hour. It's pretty easy to rank up fast in Clash of Code if you get many wins in a row and so I hope and I think I can easily get top 1000 in an hour. So let's see how I do. As you can see I'm using an account with zero participations and I'll just join a Clash and start the timer. Here we go. So the first Clash is uh, shortest mode. We just have to return the square of the sum of all the numbers. Here it says we have five numbers and we have to return the square of one plus two plus three plus four plus five. This is 225. I won't lose uh, time on that. I won't spend all 15 minutes trying to optimize my code. I'll just get started. So I'm, I'm playing in Python. What are we gonna do here? Um, just a quick sum maybe. I think I can do that. Here I'll be opening zero. So it's a standard input. Reading all the lines. And I'm eliminating the first one because the first one is only the count here of numbers. And I'll sum the rest of the five lines and I'll have to map an int to that. I square that and I print it. And I'm hoping that nobody is trying too hard on those. Okay, so it's passing. Okay, so someone submitted it. Um, with a score of 58. So I'm currently at 47, so it's pretty good. And yeah, I'll just submit like that see maybe later so maybe someone can beat me but i think that can give me a pretty high score so let's not lose uh, too much time and get into another clash of code gaston just started uh, the clash in advance so there's only two of us and it's fastest mode so we must print that many times uh, this given word so here i'm just gonna do a quick loop and print w and that's about it i think we can submit like this okay we submitted so yeah 21 seconds pretty good and we got first place on this because it was fastest mode so i got 100 uh, percent on the test cases so now it's uh, it's guaranteed that i win this clash because the other person took a too much time okay so this is a reverse mode we we'll still have to do it uh, as fast as we can how does it work oh, okay so i think i got this we have to print the last digit of the input so here n modulo 10 should be all right let's just test on all the test cases oh someone got it as well so well we got second place uh, but that's all right it's still a pretty good ranking so here we have to determine whether the number is a tall number which means uh, digits are ascending uh, every digit is bigger or equal to the digit on its left. So it's a fastest mode, so I'll run it fast. So here I'll zip the string on itself to get pairs of um, consecutive characters. So I'm zipping uh, n and n without the first character. So here this will give me uh, first and second character, then second and third and so on. And so um, results equals uh, true and if we found a counter example so if uh, b is strictly smaller than a then the result is going to be false and then uh, we're just going to print the result and hope that it passes the test cases okay 
Apparently it's good, so I'm gonna submit. Nice, first place again. As you can see, I have one participation now and my rating has updated. I'll just uh, join a new clash and keep doing that. What do we have? Oh, it's another shortest mode. So here I should use the 15 minutes, but uh, since I'm doing a speedrun challenge, I don't have that time. I, I have to do bitwise XOR between two strings apparently. So what should we do here? I'll zip the two inputs so we'll have the first character of the first line with the first character of the second one etc etc. So here we will have a one in the output if any of the two outputs have a one. Maybe this and I'll do this so I'll print a single character here and see. Okay so this works I'll just save a few characters here and there. All right, um, now I'm gonna use a secret technique known in um, Python Clash of Code. I'm gonna use Python Golfer. So if you exceed 50 characters in your code size, you can use uh, this tool, uh, which is the Python Golfer, which will reduce the number of characters by encoding your code into UTF-16. So I'm gonna paste it here so you can see it's, it's reduced to 57 characters now and it's still running because it's the exact same code. We're gonna wait for the test cases to run and submit. So it took me three minutes to get there. Uh, hopefully no one gets better than 57 characters but it's far from perfect so well maybe we'll, we'll get to top two or top three it's all right. Okay let's get started with another clash. Shortest mode again. So we have to determine whether a number uses odious. What's odious? Yes. Okay, it has an odd amount of ones in its binary expansion. So four is an example be because one zero zero has an odd number of ones in binary. So here we can convert to binary here and then uh, count the number of ones and take that modulo two. Here we'll remove all the useless code and then well we could say like print true if that else uh, false. This could work, I think. But uh, we're gonna use another tip that's uh, very funny to use. We're gonna interlace false and true here. So as you can see, every two characters we have uh, true or false. So if we take uh, even position characters, we have false. And if we take odd position characters in this string, we have true. And here we can just do a slice like this. So the first character will be given by this expression, which is either zero or one, and we'll take skip of two in that slice. And this should give us less characters as well. Okay, so this works. We have 53 characters, so we can reduce down to 52 with uh, the Python golfer. See if it still runs. All right, it works. Oh, someone else did 52. Oh, I just need one character to save. Yeah, let's submit 52, it's all right. At we are still getting started with the challenge, so even uh, like small win will give us uh, many rating points on the Clash of Code leaderboard. The previous clashes I've played are still uh, playing. It's uh, 15 minutes every time. Uh, even if I complete early, uh, we still have to wait for everyone to complete. So now we have to wait for um, for the ratings to be updated. Okay, shortest mode again. Okay, we have to output the geometric mean of the two numbers. So what we can do here, well, we can take those two. Um, the formula for the geometric uh, mean is the square root of the product. So A times B and square root, you can take power one half here. Yeah, and we can convert that to an integer. What we can do to improve on that, we can avoid using all those variables. So we can just save a few characters by doing this and then we can replace as well the input we can alias it that's a tip that Valentin showed you in a previous video on this channel that you can alias the functions to make them shorter and then here we can also alias the print if there's only a single one here you can see I managed to get 39 I don't think I can do anything better maybe in Ruby that would be much shorter but uh, I'm playing in Python right now so let's submit so I'm currently well <laughs> way ahead of the competition but people um, didn't really take the shortest mode seriously fastest mode all right so we have a split text by the first occurrence of the match oh I think, okay, um, I think we can do this in Python, actually. I think there's something better than split. Partition, yes. What does it do if I print uh, t.partition 
match. Oh, perfect. Nice. It's always useful to know uh, the documentation. I could have done with a split and give the parameter one, but I knew that there was a function to do that exactly in Python. So I, I think this class was made by a Python player. Okay, let's go. Eight players. Fastest mode. We have to output the second smallest number of the list. So here I'm going to create a list. Here I'm going to append the number to that list. Then sort the list. And then print the second element of that list and that should give me the second smallest element all right that's good submit and we got first place again so yes we're getting a few achievements now four clashes have completed and we are ranked uh, 1700 so it's pretty good let's do a few more so i think we have played like 10 clashes now uh, around 10 so there are still a few ones that are waiting to complete fastest mode yes so a man re earns a euros per hour so he works six hours five days per week for four weeks okay and so we can we have to print whether he can afford the apartment uh oh yes so so he works six hours five days four weeks so um money equals a times six times five times four if money is greater than b plus c so the rent plus plus the expenses uh, we're gonna print true and otherwise we're gonna print false okay it was a pretty easy clash someone completed it already we get second place ah uh, five seconds late okay let's join another one oh i've seen i'm i've uh, reached the, the top 1000 pretty happy with that let's uh, try to push for maybe top 100 would be would be amazing so here i was the first one in the clash so I'm the master of the room. I can decide to launch the clash in advance if I want, but uh, I won't do that because I think if you play with more players, it's worth to wait uh, until the room is full to get more rating points. The rating algorithm for Clash of Code is based on true skill. Most of uh, rating algorithms on coding game are based on uh, the true skill algorithm. It's kind of the ELO in chess, but uh, adapted to many players. So given a number N, we have to sum up. Okay, so here we're gonna sum the range between 2 and n with increments of 2. Uh, n plus 1 because I think we have to include n. We're gonna test that every test case is passing and submit. Great. Okay, 31 seconds, first place, nice. And we can join another one right away. And after this clash, we'll do a quick take at uh, the ranking. Uh, we'll have a quick look at the ranking. Okay, fastest mode again. We have two basketball teams. Each player has a field goal percentage. Okay, the winning team is the one with the highest percentage. All right, I think we'll have to take the sum of that. So here we can take the input, split with semicolons, and then we can map float to that. So here we have this, and we can take the sum, which will give us the chances of the team, and we can do a condition. So if, I'll, I'll call them T1 and T2 to be a bit faster. So if T1 greater than T2, then we're gonna print team one. Otherwise, if T2 greater than T1, well, we're gonna print team two. And in the last case, it's a draw because two values are equal. And I'm gonna just print the draw here and remove the last line. Hope that the formula was actually the sum. Looking good so far. Okay, we are submitting it. And this time we got first place. Let's do a quick look at the scores. So yes, we're approaching top 100. Uh, it's pretty good. It's, uh, as I was saying earlier, it's pretty easy to win uh, more points if you if you get many, many wins in a row. So let's do another clash. We have 18 minutes left. Fastest mode again. So we need to compute the sum of all even and odd positive integers up to n and include it separately. Okay, so here, well, it's pretty easy. It's the sum of the range from one up to n plus one every two numbers and we do the same but starting with two for the even numbers and this should give us the right answer we are waiting for all the test cases and it's passing okay 42 seconds nice oh okay we have uh, another reverse 
which is quite rare. So what do we have to do here? A, B, C, D. So we have sequences of numbers. A, L. How does it work? I think zero is uh, lowercase. One is uppercase. Two is digits. Okay, zero, one, two, three, A, B, C, D. L is 11. Okay, so that should be it. So now uh, we're going to split. So string dot split with the dash. Here, um, the case is going to be block uh, at index one and index i'm gonna call that index is gonna be a block starting from index three going to index four we're gonna create a result here an empty string so if the case equal zero we are gonna have a, a lower case so we're gonna add to res the character corresponding to the index plus uh or of lowercase a and we're gonna copy that three times with case one and two so one is uppercase so capital a and case number two which should be in all remaining cases we can have the zero and we have to print res of course what went wrong oh okay i have to convert the index as integer of course okay nice so i've completed one hour of clash of codes it was very intense I managed to get, I think, first or second place on all of them. So I'm very happy with that. I'll have to wait for 15 minutes before I get the final result. And then we can discover the final ranking that I got. All right, so I've waited for 15 minutes for the last clash to complete. And now it's time to discover the results. In one hour, I managed to play 24 Clash of Codes uh, for a final ranking, which is way above what I expected. Uh, I ended up at the 84th place in the world. So I, I'm very happy with that result. So yeah, in the, in the global leaderboard, you can see my main account, which is currently 26th place. And we, could, we should be able, yes, to see my new account. And as you can see, we're really close to the people above us in the ranking. So here, if I just gain a few more points in the true skill, currently I have 26.66 with only 24 clashes. So I think that's a pretty good performance. And well, that's about it and let's check the leaderboard for just france i don't think i'm in the top 10 but maybe a top 30 or something like that uh let me count real quick okay yes i'm 19th in france as well so i hope you enjoyed this challenge i really did i love clash of code it's my favorite mode on the coding game for the quick story i strongly recommend you trade out. I remember a few years back when I was uh, taking the interviews for Google. I trained all week on Clash of Code and in the end I managed to get the internship. So um, maybe you should do the same and try on Clash of Code really hard in a single hour to see uh, if you can beat me. I invite you to try this challenge at home as well. Uh, if you want to do the same, create a new account and coding game and try to get in an hour or maybe two hours the highest ranking you can do. And let me know in the comments how high you got. I'm sure some of you can beat that score of 84. So subscribe if you liked that video and stay tuned for more. Bye.